we have our Ethernet connection, and you'll see here that we have IPv4 and IPv6. Uh, they're both on, and IPv4 is getting its IP address from a DHCP server. Well, we don't want that, right? This is going to be a domain controller, so we want to set up our IP configuration. So I'm going to click on the link. And if you're not already liking this, uh, you should be, because this is very cool. You click on these links, it takes you right where you need to be. Here's my Ethernet connection, so I'm going to go ahead and right-click and go to Properties. Highlight Internet Protocol Version 4. Careful not to click on the checkbox or it'll clear it. You want to click on the words to highlight. Go to Properties. And I want to assign an IP address. Now, the IP address I'm going to assign is 192.168.10.201. There's a couple things I will tell you. First of all, the 192.168.10 network is the network here in my office. Okay, the specific network that I'm on is the 192.168.10 network. So uh, that's where that came from. And then I have decided that the 200 to 220 range, and really I shouldn't even say 200, it's the 201 to 220 range, is what I've kind of set aside to use for servers. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use 201 for this particular server. And if I hit tab, you'll see it auto populates the appropriate subnet mask because I am using a class C range and I am intentionally trying to go ahead and stay within this class C address. The default gateway is going to be 192.168.10.1. Okay, that is the IP address of the router that I have here in my office that gets me out to the internet. For DNS, I'll go ahead and also point to 192.168.10.1. Now that's going to change once I become a domain controller, okay, because I'll also become a DNS server and I'll point to myself for DNS. But for name resolution right now, if I want to get out to the internet, I also need to point to that router because that router is also a DNS server. I'll click OK and close. Close out of this window. And I want to show you something. First of all, you'll notice remote desktop is enabled. <laughs> that refresh has come through. But the IP address hasn't. Oh, and as I'm saying to you, it refreshed that as well. Okay, so the timing on the refresh sometimes is a little bit faster than others. 